What's going on everyone, this is Dom and today we're comparing the Galaxy Note 7 to the Galaxy S7 to help you decide which one is the best Samsung smartphone to pick up this year. Starting out with specifications, the Galaxy Note 7 packs a Snapdragon 820 processor, 4GB of RAM, a 3500mAh battery, and 64GB of storage with micro SD card expansion up to 256GB. On the Galaxy S7, we have the same Snapdragon 820 processor, 4GB of RAM, a 3000mAh battery, and either 32 or 64 gigabytes of internal storage with the same micro SD card expansion. As for these Super AMOLED displays, both phones share similarities in QHD resolution, but the Galaxy S7 sports a 5.1 inch display, while the Galaxy Note 7 features a 5.7 inch display. The Note 7 also features curved edges on each side, which adds to its software functionality, taking on features that were previously only on Samsung's Edge series of smartphones like Apps Edge, Tasks Edge, and People Edge. As for overall design, there are many similarities between the Note 7 and the Galaxy S7. First off, they're both made up from glass and metal, with the Note 7 using the newer Gorilla Glass 5 on each side. The Note 7 feels so much better in the hand with the new curves on the screen and the slightly redesigned shape as well, but it doesn't feel too large either. Now the glass design looks nice and all, but I definitely prefer the custom look achieved with a D-brand skin, and I'll leave a link below if you want to pick one up for yourself. So at first glance, they are very similar in design, but there are small differences, even down to the color of the the Onyx version which sports a true black body and frame on the Note 7 as opposed to the dark blue body with a silver frame found on the Galaxy S7. All of that said, I definitely prefer the look and feel of the Note 7, but it's going to depend on if you need the Note's core functionality. As for software, this year Samsung did a great job at cleaning up the software experience on the Note 7. Not that it's bad on the Galaxy S7, but everything on the Note 7 is slightly more toned down and I think a lot of people can appreciate that. Obviously at this point both phones are current on Android updates, but the the Note 7 still wins overall in my opinion. With the Note 7, the biggest software changes you can expect happen with the S Pen and its functionality, and Samsung always delivers here. It's really just a matter of how useful the S Pen is to you. Now, if you need to take notes on the fly, the Note 7 is the best device for the job. There's even the ability to create GIFs, or GIFs depending on what team you're on, with the S Pen, which is super awesome, as well as features like Magnify and Glance that you can use, but if you're not into those things and what the S Pen has to offer, the Galaxy S7 may be a better choice. Choice. Real quick though, I want to give a huge thanks to Graphic Stock for sponsoring this video. Now, Graphic Stock has the largest unlimited download library of graphics, photos, vectors, and images on the interwebs. Over 300,000 of them. Now, most websites charge on a per image or graphic basis, and it can cost as much as 30 bucks a pop. With Graphic Stock, you get unlimited downloads with your membership. During a seven day free trial, you can download 140 pieces of content, and you can also sign up for their annual plan, which is 99 bucks for unlimited access. All memberships come with a 100% royalty-free agreement for your personal or commercial use, which means you won't get sued by copyright holders. But be sure to click the link in the description box below or go to graphicstock.com forward slash YouTube to get started with this exclusive offer. Now getting back into the swing of things, we're talking about special features. And with the Galaxy Note 7, we have a fingerprint sensor that works very similarly to the one on the Galaxy S7. And that's not a bad thing at all, but the Note 7 has the advantage with an iris scanner that can be used to unlock the device and authenticate websites in Samsung's browser. But honestly, the fingerprint scanner is just so much faster for me. It's simply not worth buying the Note 7 for the iris scanner alone. When it comes to camera performance, both of these devices are going to be very capable of taking awesome pictures. So both the Note 7 and S7 feature a 12 megapixel shooter with an f 1.7 aperture for awesome low light photography, 4K video recording, and honestly, this is quite possibly the best camera on a smartphone. Pictures are gorgeous from both devices, and it's kind of a draw in this department. But I'll be sure to leave links to both of these phone reviews if you want to check them out. And also if it's important to you, the Note 7 and S7 both feature a 5 megapixel front shooter as well. So the question of the day is which one should you buy? Well, that's going to depend on if you need a bigger screen and or the S Pen. And if you answered yes to both of those questions, then the Note 7 is definitely the way to go. The Galaxy S7 is a fantastic phone though, but you might also get better battery life on the Note 7, at least in my experience. Overall, I'd say the Note 7 is a win here, but let me know what you think in the comment section below and be sure to leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks again for watching everyone. This is Dom and I'll catch you in the next video.